Orlando, they're doing this Canadian tour, not necessarily going across Canada, but playing a Canadian team in back-to-back weeks after a 2-2 draw at Stade Saputo against CF Montreal, a last-minute equalizer. They play TFC this week coming off a 1-0 victory. The goal line is set at 2.75. Look at that, plus 500 for an outright Toronto FC win here. I should say, as I'm part of the broadcast crew covering it, the Canadian Championship start this week. Toronto FC playing Wednesday night against a small club. They're like a semi-professional club called Simcoe County Rovers on Wednesday at BMO Field. Probably have some significant rotation, but still another fixture to deal with. Dan was a winner last week, backing TFC. Are you going to go back to the well once again this week, Dan? You know, at plus 500, I would love to make a (laughs) case for a stinky dog like that. But you nailed it just as far as how you look at this game. And it, it goes back to something Bob said earlier on the show as well, is some of the time the lines don't factor in what these teams are doing outside of the MLS. And as as Gareth brings up the point there, this Canadian championship game, sure, we would think it's going to be some of the younger players, some of the bench players that are playing in that. But you might be able to speak to it a little bit better than I would, Gareth, as far as the Canadian content rule goes. You might at least have to see some of these starters for are trotting out there to start the game. So regardless whether they are or not, you're going to be working with a shorter bench this weekend. You already had some injuries for this Toronto FC side, and it's a team who, okay, let's give them credit. They picked up four road points this year. They didn't win a game on the road last year, guys. Like This is a historically bad team when they take it on the highway, and they're going against a team who I think is having a lot of buy signs on this one. We've already seen some huge money coming in on Orlando City in this one. As far as the money line goes, it's already up over 200, and it's a Tuesday afternoon. Again, that is sharp money that's coming in then. So I want to back Orlando in this one. I just want to find a better way to do it than lay two to one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay the goal um, minus 125. And I think they win by two. I think this could be one of those where Toronto just kind of shows up. They pack it in. So if you want to play Orlando first half, I don't hate that. I'm going to play in the full game. I think they get it done. I don't think we're even going to be flirting with a draw in this one. So I'm pretty confident laying it with with Orlando in this one. Um, that that For all intents and purposes, that would probably be my best bet for this week, Gareth. I learned my lesson going head-to-head against Dan Alexander last week. I'm not <laughs> going to make the same mistake twice. Uh, we're um, reading from the same hymn book here. Um, to, about the, the Canadian content rules, TFC do have a lot of young Canadian players, mm-hmm. but they have so many injuries and issues in the team, players that aren't fully fit, that they're going to have to play some of the regulars for that game. There, there, there's, there's no doubt about it. I'll go in a little bit different of a direction because we went big plus money hunting last week and we Mm -hmm. all cash with the St. Louis play. So let's make this one a little bit more sophisticated. Let's go Orlando win and combine that with both teams to score. No. So Orlando to win to a clean sheet in this game at plus 147. That's the, you know, the the best play for me, Orlando started to move in the right direction. It hasn't been perfect, but they're a vastly superior team to to, to Toronto FC. No losses in four overall. They've only lost one game at home. It came in a three, two loss to Minnesota, but in that game, they had an XG of 4.11 and 22 shots to just 1.38 to Minnesota. So they created far more than Minnesota in that loss. They also had a lot of a clean sheet at home against Tigris in the, Hockey Gap Champions Cup as well. They're the fourth best home expected goals, but what I like is they have the second best home expected goals against. They just don't give up chances at home, less than a goal a game. Toronto FC, three straight away losses, and they conceded nine goals in those three away games. They have the third worst away expected goals, so they don't create anything, just .91, and the seventh worst away expected goals against. 26th overall in expected goals, and 26th overall are Toronto FC in expected goals against. And head-to-head Orlando, four wins in a row against TFC, no losses in eight, and they haven't conceded a goal in their last four games against TFC either. That was a 2-0 win, a 4-0 win, a 4-0 win, and a 1-0 win. Let's go again this weekend. For Dan's sake, a 2-0 home win will do us both good. I I think that Orlando goes and wins this game with very little pushback from TFC this weekend. So Love it. That's the play there.